Think back, click back. Last thing I saw was a flash and you were gone. All I heard was a chip pat. Woke up, then you trying to revive me, crying, running by me one time. Me. This is how we finna start the vid. Oh, I could never tell you why I am What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Kales or Kelly, and we back with another video. Now today, man, look, I got some guests with me today, man. We had them go ahead and introduce themselves to the vid and shit like that. We got a Q&A today. Y'all probably seen a little bit of uh, freestyle clips in the beginning of this vid. We gonna, uh, I might get some more. Y'all go ahead and introduce yourselves. Uh, our social medias or whatever, go ahead. C James, everything. C James on everything, what you? Yeah. All right, this is Isaiah Coat. Uh, Isaiah.Coat <laughs> on everything, pretty much. Man, y'all go on. All right, so that's that's everybody, man. Everybody want to be low, low talking or whatever. So we finna get this Q and A started. I'm um, asking y'all on Instagram a few questions. I got a few. We gonna probably make up some more as we hear these questions and everything like that. Hope y'all enjoy this shit. We gonna see what this shit talking about. Let me go. To, let me find these questions real quick. All right, we got two live Kai. He said, "Who's the uh, hardest Virginia artist? Who the hardest Virginia artist?" I'm right here. You know what I'm saying? Just saying. We got some talkers right here. You know what I'm who y'all think the best Virginia artist is, man? Besides nah, myself, I said Young Crazy. Young Crazy? Oh, yeah. Wait, young crazy. I'm about to say Young Crazy up there, yo. I'm about to say, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. If it ain't me, I'm going to really say it's in between my bro, No Fugazi, and Gold. You know what I mean? Right. Right, I don't spend that shit. Who I fuck with? I just got some, like, favorites. Obviously, I got. These two right here in the back, they, they some of my favorites. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna boost. I'm waiting on homeboy over here to drop some shit. Like, we waiting on him. We're gonna see he talking about. Uh, but he got some sneak, sneak peek shit. Man, I'm waiting on them shits for sure, for sure. You got crazy shit. AK, you crazy. AK, <laughs> crazy. AK, you crazy. All right. That's what the hardest Virginia artists right here. Um, we probably, there's probably some more out there we probably forgot to mention, but you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their favorite. Zaire said. Uh, what's y'all take on rappers in the 757? Like, how y'all feel about them? Shit, that's a that's a hard question, but I think like for real, I think some of them be hard headed. Like, if all we right. all got niggas just got on their shit, we would be up at least the 75 itself. Would I feel like everybody too prideful? Yeah, everybody like I do. I feel the same way. Like everybody is like real prideful around here. Like. Like everybody got beef with somebody, so like they won't make a track or nothing like that. Even like make some shit pop. Like even though y'all make some great music together, like that shit it ruins it for everybody else. So I, I definitely agree. But besides that, we I think I think we talented as hell. Like everybody like out here, we real talented as hell. Like we gotta see what everybody gonna do with these projects. I hope one day we get past all that. Some of these questions we finna see. Uh, I did what asked when my first fight was. Bro, listen, my first fight, uh, I got a whole bit on the channel about it. Y'all, You got to go tune into it. It'll probably be on the screen right here. Um, my first fight was in, it was football. It was football. I ain't going to explain the whole story. Long story short, I fought in the locker room with the senior. <laughs> and my whole coach was telling me not to fight the whole time. And, yeah, like, niggas record that shit, but the video never came out. Bro, it was with Isaiah, bro. Y'all know you know who it is, bro. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah so it was with Isaiah and shit like that. But ain't no beef with him and nothing like that. Like, it ain't mean like that. That shit was funny. I was just one of my first fights in high school. Like, but good thing I ain't, I ain't never get caught for it. So that shit was easy. <laughs> you ain't get caught for it. What you mean? Nah, I didn't. Nah, it was in the locker room you right did. after practice. Yeah, neither of us did. Like, my coach knew. I fled to the car. My mom took me, took me to the crib. I ain't gonna. Ain't like no I, I went even in school when I got my car. And I still got suspended. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you was what? Right? I still, I fought outside of school and I still got suspended. <laughs> okay, how did you, how did you fight and then outside get suspended? That don't even make sense. Bro. Bro. <laughs> That's terrible, bro. 
Yeah, but go, go watch that video about my fight, bro. That shit entertaining, bro. That shit on my older video. Uh, ben, Ben Berserk, uh, my homeboy, like, he uh, he asked me, uh, what made you want to start YouTube? So, look, they made me want to start YouTube, and um, I guess I can ask y'all to, too. Like, first do a little bit of YouTube. You say you finna start. They can't do YouTube. So, first thing that made me want to start doing YouTube is uh, shit, like, first of all, I ain't gonna lie. These, these, these nine to fives, like, I'm not gonna fuck with it. I can't, like, it's not something I, would, like, really like to do, like, to answer to somebody. I feel like I want to make my own profit. One way that's the first thing like that's the one thing i like my creativity and stuff like that that's that's another thing um also like i love when people like tell me that i have personality for tv like that's happened to me like few like hella times tell me like my family to people i met outside just out of school like it's like that they tell me like why don't you do something like you like this something you should do what's your major like you do something tv and everything like that and i like talking in front of the camera honestly and like people giving me feedback all them comments and people telling me like that's that's why i like it like that's what made me want to start having that fan base and having somebody support you is just feel like it's unmatched for real for real um y'all can go ahead and say y'all i've been talking for a while first so for me i ain't gonna lie i was uh i think i saw kale do a video and i was like oh somebody trying to do something out here like that shit's inspiring so i was like maybe i could do this shit too so, so and then also i'd be watching uh i was watching people vlog and shit on uh, youtube and i was like bruh if they making money from this shit I could get lit too, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, make me some money off that shit. I'm not trying to do this nine to five like he was saying, so. Shit, the reason I started doing it, I was, I was watching Faze, yeah. Wait, I do, I yeah, Faze. that's a big part of it too. Like, I didn't even, I didn't even put that part in there. Watch Faze. And I, I just, I just wanted to do, I just wanted to do what they do. I just wanted to, uh, just grind out cold, dude. Like, I want to say like a year, like into when Black Ops 2. Yeah, like, right. well, I don't want it like early, like, early. I feel like, like I was still had a couple of years of prime, and then I was just playing that. That was my best game, so I just did my thing in that and was just putting up videos about it. I just wanted, I wanted to be a face boy. <laughs> Couldn't be me, I'm dog shit at Call of Duty. I ain't even gonna lie. Bruh, I've been, I've, I've been doing YouTube for a couple of years, so I don't know. I ain't really get on because anybody else, I just don't really want to do this shit. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Keep it short and simple. But yeah, bro. Look, like everybody has their own little reasons why, but everybody just loves it. Like everybody, everything that's in common, we all just like to create content and put it out there for for people to see. Like, like it's just everybody loves that feeling. Like I love that feeling. All right, so I think that's what everybody want to do. Darren right here, he asked a question too. We gonna go ahead and get his question in there. He said, "Your favorite rapper versus who you think your, who the best rapper is." Like, your favorite rapper versus who you think the best rapper is? You had some heart. I don't even remember what I had, but I think my favorite rapper is Smino. But who do I think? And the best rapper is probably like J. Cole, right. lyrically. But who do I think will win in a battle? I'm going with Smino. That's my nigga, so I can't I ain't. <laughs> I that. I, don't, I never heard of that, you know. What you got, kid? It's a, your favorite rapper versus your, uh, who you think the best rapper is? My favorite rapper versus who they think the best rapper is? Yeah, who you think you're the best rapper is? I got, what I got picked, but I don't understand that question. <laughs> it's like, so your favorite rapper is somebody you love to listen to versus mm -hmm. somebody you think raps better than them, but they still not like, you don't like to listen to them as much. You know, I got picked some of Yeah, two people. Damn, I really don't listen to that many niggas though. Bro. That should be easy then. You should just pick your two favorite niggas or your two. Two under great, under, under It don't yeah, matter. Yeah. It, it could be whoever, bro. Kodak. Or, so you think Kodak's your favorite rapper and then uh, you think Cutiful is the best rapper though? Oh, uh, nah. I don't know. Everybody, all oh, I fuck with, I fuck with. If I don't listen, if he poop, I, I, he trash. <laughs> like, I just don't listen to him. <laughs> oh, yeah. fuck. Uh, I don't know, bro. See, it's the time. Man, all right. Well, he finna. He don't know his answer. Chris, who you bro, think? I don't even know. Like, word, because if they dookie, they dookie. Like, I ain't comparing them to my man. Nah, but because it's like the people I listen to. Like, you can't, can't really compare them. Like, it's like you can't say. Well, that's why I'm trying. That's basically. Really okay. Well, okay. okay. I can see that. Where, all right. That's a. That's a good point. Yeah, because I mean, Smino. If you listen to him, he he's totally different than J Cole. But I'm saying, who would I? Like, if I was gonna listen to somebody. I'm still gonna, I'm gonna pick my favorite rapper, you know what I'm saying? So. Or, that's a good point. Or, all right, or we can just go ahead and skip that question. Uh, if someone asked me, uh, Zay, he asked me subscriber uh, amount goals for 2021. Honestly, bro, my goal is just to get as many as possible, bro. Like, I don't, I don't wanna put a number on it or nothing like that. I wanna get as much as possible, whether that's 200, 
whether that's 300, whatever that's 100, 50, whatever. Like, I'm trying to hit as much as I can. Like, y'all got any goals for 2021 at all, bro? Maintain. Whether that's, to maintain. Like, that's whether if you got, like, money, money, uh, mentally, maintain. That's what I'm trying to do. I gotta keep doing that. Gotta maintain. Make some money for some bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah. Huh? Hey, they say, hear you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got goals like that. I'm obviously trying to make this bread. Like, that's, just, that's just a given, though. Right? To work harder, too. Come on, bro. I'm working harder than that. Hell yeah, everybody's trying to better this, so I'm definitely trying to get better for myself. Uh, I got think I got like one more question left. Any special projects coming for the channel soon with my uh, cousin, uh, Joshua? Uh, any special projects, bro? Uh, I ain't got no like nothing special planned out. I want to start like going out more again, but obviously this COVID shit going on. But once it's just starts to clear up, but like, I'm trying to be out. Like these like reaction shits, like I love doing reaction shit, shit like that. Like they fun, they quick, and like. I get to enjoy the song with y'all and everything like that. So like, I love doing them, but it ain't the same as me going out, vlogging, like when I went to the Chief Keef concert or when I went to my, visit my homeboy at shop or anything, like shit like that. Like I love shit like that more. And y'all see my life and everything like that. So uh, whenever I can get that shit back, back together, we'll just do some special projects. I'm gonna definitely do some shit in public. Uh, hopefully some of these niggas be down for some shit like that. I don't know. It ain't really about it, but Oh, uh, we can do this shit in public. This should be fun, bro. For sure, for sure. Any projects coming up for y'all? Uh, shit, nothing. Solid concrete, but I be making music every day, so it could drop anytime soon. Like, anything for real. I got some new shit coming soon. I'm just trying to step some shit to all up. I'm gonna drop straight visuals. Visuals coming up. Chris, what you got going on? I'm not really taking Cold War serious right now, but. <laughs> If a montage come out for that, I mean, you'll be lucky to see it. Word. Hey, look, if y'all, any of y'all niggas fuck with Call of Duty, bro, me and him finna be in a uh, little montage, bro. It's gonna have some dope ass clips, bro. Y'all gonna see what we talking about about Multiple it. Multiple with me and him. Word. It's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy, bro. We finna see, like, Antonio Cold War. They fucking cool. Man, you, hey, look. Hey, now. That's Chris Trapp and Cold War. Yeah, I know S&D Lockies. Sorry, dude. Hey, bro, listen, that hurt. Free for all good in that game, bro. Oh, yeah, I was meaning to play that shit, too. I've been heard, watching Jeff play yeah, Free for Yeah, I heard it's good. So, I heard the spawns is, like, actually, like, mm -hmm. makes sense. So, I ain't tried before, but I heard, but, like, for sure, like, nigga, get back in the Call of Duty. Wait, wait, focus. Start playing after playing Cold War. You need to start doing that shit. I was watching it in Jeff. Hey, you need to, you need to. still on Warzone. No, you need to come to Warzone too. That was when I didn't have Cold War. You need to come to Warzone too. No, I got that. Warzone hard as fuck. My ex wife broke, but I bought another one for a dub. Off my uncle. Nigga <laughs> <laughs> showed that shit for a dub. He was desperate. I bought that shit for a dub. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, a dub, bro. 500 gigs. Where are you coming up like that? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. He said, like, the headset for a dub, like, mm -hmm. and then showed the whole shit. Everything, everything that shit came in. Everything. <laughs> like, you sure it was a 360? <laughs> like, that shit is crazy, bro. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell him not. Uh, shit. Y'all trying to freestyle again, though? No. Bro, you know mm -hmm. I'm down to freestyle. Okay, you trying to freestyle? I was playing that beat that you wanted me to get on. We were going in on that. Yeah, we was doing that shit. Oh, you finna keep, we gonna keep this shit in. Oh, I, man, was trying to, I was trying to pick up your.